everyone. How are you? Denise Tafala, long time no see. I'm sure uh, many of you are hunkered down at home the way we are in Lakewood with Pickles and Coco, our other puppy, who is momentarily in the basement because she's very needy. Uh, so I wanted to give you an update on Pickles. Uh, as many of you know, and thank you so much for your prayers, it was back on December 13th, Friday the 13th, that she um, ruptured a spinal disc. And we didn't know it at first. I have never owned a dachshund before. And people had told me, oh, they have back problems. Well, it's a lot more than back problems, okay? It is um, disc issues. Their discs in their spine get calcified and it can happen at a very young age compared to other dogs. So I wanted to just not only clue you in on pickles and tell you about the therapy she's been receiving, but also show you this My Pet Laser, which is what I'm using at home. So um, I had heard about this company on Channel 8. Fox 8 did a story on this uh, cold laser therapy that was available for veterinarians. They were sending it to Australia to be used on the burned koala bears. And I reached out to the company because they're right here in Solon. So I, I got in touch with them and this is how it comes. And of course, nowadays you don't want to have to go somewhere to receive this laser. It comes, you can ask your veterinarian to send it right to your house. You can basically rent it from your vet. Everything you need is going to be inside the box, including the small, very portable, easy to use My Pet Laser, and all the necessary paperwork that you're going to need, including your operating manual, quick reference guide, and your treatment protocol manual. This gives you a guide for what treatment is appropriate for what ailment. Joining me now from Seattle, J. Mark Strong from Multiradiance Medical. Mark, let's get right to it. People are unaware that this even existed. I didn't know about it until the story about the koala bears. No, it's, a, it's a fascinating story because it was actually many years ago, many decades ago now, and in our two space programs, there were a lot of research because of the difficulty keeping astronauts and cosmonauts healthy in space. And wounds and scratches and abrasions just don't heal at the same rate. And uh, in their research and growing plants in space and coming up with the right wavelengths to grow these plants to help feed our astronauts in, in space travel later on, they discovered that those with their hands in these lights working in these experiments actually saw their wounds begin to heal. And this is a real epiphany. In parallel, there was some other research using lasers to kill cancer cells, and they had turned the power down low enough that these cells were actually stimulated to start growing. So if everyone just remembers back to their high school biology, this is all about our mitochondria. The mitochondria are the energy factories in our cells, and they produce this ATP at an accelerated rate when they absorb photons. So we're producing high-density light photons with our lasers, that are absorbed by the mitochondria, turning it into cellular fuel, which can speed up our healing, which can also promote more blood flow. It's called photodissociation of nitric oxide for the science people in the audience. And this improvement in blood flow brings more oxygen and nutrients to these areas and further helps them to heal. So it's a fantastic technology. The beautiful thing is when you shorten the pulses as we have down to nanoseconds, you eliminate the only harmful potential side effect, which is heat. So instead of the class four lasers that we're all familiar with for doing surgery and taking, taking layers of cells off women's faces for cosmetic purposes, we're now just using these wonderful photons minus the hazardous heat to speed up the healing process. So for pixels, we want to speed up the regeneration of new nerves so we can regrow that nerve down to the end of her leg and restore her function again. And it's wonderful to see her responding We've been doing, I've been with this company for 10 years now, and I've seen so many wonderful cases, and it's such a compassionate way of doing How does the laser help those neurons regenerate? Yeah, that's this process. We have mitochondria throughout our entire bodies, and that's this process where the chromophores in the mitochondria are absorbing these photons. And just like plants, when we have light energy being converted to chemical energy, which is chlorophyll, 
We convert lead energy into chemical energy, which is adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. And this is that cellular fuel that I referenced before, which is so helpful to make new healthy cells to proliferate where they're needed, in her case, along that spine, to regrow these neurons, to regrow all these cells that were damaged during the surgery, to restore their function. And so you're seeing those first steps as these parts of her body come back to life, these new Cells are being formed to fill in those that have been damaged, to replace those, and this is her whole body starting to recover from this. And this is the part of the rehabilitation process, but it's so important to have a series of treatments. And this is one of the big problems by not utilizing this therapy to its fullest. You have to keep going back to the doctor, unless, of course, you're able to take part in a program like ours where you can actually take the therapy home with you, use the laser at home, following your vet's prescription, sometimes twice a day during the first few weeks in a case like this to rehabilitate this wind injury. We need things that have evidence to show that they actually work. Our company early on accepted the challenge that they would have to spend a lot of money to produce peer-reviewed evidence. Veterinarians are very smart people. They know how to treat a lot of different species and they want the gold standard of evidence, which is peer-reviewed published research. Right. And so we've spent well over a million dollars producing these studies to show them exactly how it works and how it does so safely. Uh, what about acu using this laser for like acupuncture points? I know that it can be used that way. Um, is there any research yet on the, the laser on those acupuncture points? Yes, over the years there's been a lot produced. Uh, one of the, we, we work with so many phenomenal vets and, and clinicians and practitioners all over the world. One in particular was named by his peers as one of the 15 most influential vets, and this was in the world, because he wrote the book, literally, on veterinary acupuncture. Acupuncture, as you know, came from China thousands of years ago. It has lasted, it's about 4,000 years now, so there, there, there was a consensus, there must be something going on, even though it's baffling to the Western mindset. Sure. Of just chi and fire and wood, and what the heck is all this stuff? So Dr. Schoen went to work on working out the mechanisms of action from the Western mindset, the anatomy, and found out that this is actually about nerves, neural junctions, fascia. Our fascia is collagen and water. It's that connected tissue that holds us together. Yeah. But everything is wrapped in this beautiful fascia, which is very, very conductive to biophotons. So instead of when you're putting in a needle, and some cats especially don't like needles, and some people, dogs, horses, don't like needles, you can actually use the laser instead. I have one here with me right now. And you can put the laser on that acupuncture point and get a wonderful effect because the photons, again, are very easily transmitted through the biophotons in the fascia, and you get a very strong systemic effect. Now, when we talk about pickles and we talk about propensity for injuries, it comes down to a bit of physics because long back dogs are a little more challenged. Yep. When they jump off a chair or a couch, there's longer twisting and torquing, unfortunately. And you've controlled her weight, which is so critically important. But if people don't control the weight of their dog, they're just inviting these back injuries and it's gonna be worse in long back dogs because there's so much pulling down on that spine. Absolutely. So those nerves are branching out of the spinal cord. Those nerve roots, that's where we're giving the bulk of our treatments because this is where the first growth is taking place. We want that signal to be firing down along that entire nerve down into her foot. And now let's talk about cats because if you want to see a, a, a really sad sight, just type in cats going to the vet on YouTube. Oh, and no. Way and they're, <laughs> they're distraught and they're afraid because this oh. is being shoved into a carrier and then taken to a place and these dogs are coming around and sniffing and poking their nose and wondering what's inside. The cat's cowering in the corner. Yeah. It's a sad fact in the U.S., according to our AVMA, the American Veterinary Medical Association, half the cats, and that's 37 million of them, don't get vet care. If you try our laser with a cat, your experience is, is wonderful because it's, a, it's so much more compassionate for them. It's not the heat that's produced by a class four laser, it's just photons. And it feels wonderful. It, what it's doing is causing a systemic release of endorphins. And if you're lucky enough to have one of those vets that carries our MyPet lasers, they can send it home with you for your cat so that your cat can enjoy the treatment while sitting on your lap. There's this wonderful phenomenon that you experience all the time called the human-animal bond. Yep. And it's that wonderful feeling of connection between the two of you because of the space. In the final analysis, we are all interconnected by this energetic field. 
And so when your cat is on your lap and your dog is in your lap and you're giving it the lazy treatment and they're loving it, both of you are sharing this wonderful feeling and the cat is saying, hey, thank you. And the dog is saying, hey, thank you. I've always been here for you. You get my unconditional love. And I love what you're giving me back to help me feel fast. Tell me, I know that in one of our conversations, you told me about the horse. And it was a, a horse that was involved in competition. Um, that is an amazing story. If you would share that with our viewers here. Yeah, um, I've made uh, seven trips to UAE, United Arab Emirates, in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And over there, horse competitions are a very big thing, show jumping especially. And one show jumper in particular has been using our lasers for years, Anita Sandy. She's from Norway originally, but she has a base now in UAE because they have such high level competitions over there. And she's one of the tops in her field. And she has a horse that she's now been taking care of and training for 10 years called da sorry, Cash. And Cash is one of these phenomenal horses I got to spend a lot of time with. But in one of the competitions, Cash was shipped as he normally isn't. Normally he flies, transports very well, no issues. But inexplicably, the people at the other end who are responsible for cash to get him out of the compartment failed to do so. And he spent eight hours in there. Oh. Now just imagine the horse in the compartment, eight hours, no food, no water, no exercise. And as good as cash normally does with this, he finally freaked out, started banging around. They found him upside down, horrified at the sight of her beautiful cash, something she's so close to, and she had a major competition coming up. And in her mind, her, she was just heart sick over cash's condition and how could this possibly happen? And in her mind, she's thinking this next competition, we've been training for all this time for it, it'll never happen. She contacted us, we went to work with it immediately. I happened to be over there shortly after that. And by doing these treatments and getting this horse and using the unwind and the stimulation and all the different treatments we recommend, he actually made it back and was able to compete. And you should wow. have seen the tears flowing out of her eyes at the end of that ride when she's going back into the stables and the glow on her face as Cash and Anita Sandy placed beautifully in the competition and have since then done even better. Wow. But she uses it on him every day and was just so grateful and amazed that he can make a come. It was really like a Disney movie. Unbelievable. Because no, there was no way he could come back out of this but able to come back, compete at the top levels against the top horses in the world. We need to make a Disney movie out of that. Let's call Disney. And of course, this okay. technology, wonderful to use on people. I want to show you, it's multiradiance.com. Look for this symbol. Look for this symbol and you know you'll be in the right place. All the information you need is on their website. They have many different lasers for many different uses, multiradiance.com. Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for sharing this technology with me and with Pickles, most importantly. We're going to get her up and walking again. And let me mention one other thing, too. You can find us on Facebook. I'm J. Period Mark Strong. We have Multiradiance. We have Multiradiance Veterinary. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Instagram. We have a special private Facebook page for our clinicians to get help from our tech support people. Any of those social media, you'll find us on all of those. And Googling, of course, works as well. Thank you so much. Thanks again, Mark. And all the okay. terrific work you're doing for all of these animals worldwide. We so appreciate you. It's a, Cleveland is a town of animal lovers. And we need more folks like you investing in our furry friends. Thank you. We have a very big team of people who are incredibly dedicated. So we have a lot of help. Thank you very, very much. All righty. Take care. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. You guys take care. Thanks for joining us. Bye.